Camera calibration is the process of taking chessboard images, feeding that into your camera calibration app, and obtaining your camera parameters, intrinsics, extrinsics, and distortion coefficients. You can then use the output for precise measurement or remove image distortion. I will show you step-by-step -step how to calibrate your cameras. First, I'll explain the camera calibration in more detail, download the camera calibration app, prepare the chessboard image, upload the camera calibration images, install the Python modules, run the program and view camera parameters, and finally, discuss ways to improve the camera calibration results. If you want to learn more robotics and AI, check out my website at kevinwoodrobotics.com. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics and AI, so subscribe to learn more. Imagine you have an object in the world frame. You have a camera in its camera frame. You take a picture of this object and it gets projected in what's called the image frame. To transform it between the world frame and the camera frame, this is what's called the extrinsics. And to go from the camera frame to the image frame, this is what's called the intrinsics. Now mathematically, we have what's called the image point and we have the world point. To transform between the two, we need our extrinsics, which gives us our rotation and translation, and our intrinsics, which gives us our focal length and our camera center. When it comes to distortion, we have what's called the radial distortion. So you have a normal image here, and it can either go concave out or concave in. We also have what's called the tangential distortion. Here on the left, you can see we have the vertical plane parallel with the camera sensor. When it becomes distorted, what happens with the camera sensor is that it gets tilted. Now mathematically, what does this mean? This means that the x and y coordinates of the image point is actually moved to a new location. So here you can see this is our radial distortion, this is our tangential distortion, and putting it all together, we have our distortion coefficients. So here you can see the k values belong to the radial distortion, and the p values belong to the tangential. Now you could go ahead and come to my website here, I'll put a link down below, but here you could go ahead and download the camera calibration app. And if you want a more in-depth overview of the code, I have another video where I talk about all the details. Now when you install the application, what you want to do is make sure you have a main folder, and you want to put the camera calibration folder inside that main folder. And inside what's going to come with it is you're going to have the camera calibration Python file, you're going to have the chessboard 9x6 image, and then here in the demo images and calibration folder, you're going to have sample images of the calibration images I'm using, or you could put your own if you want to use your own images to calibrate your camera. So here you can see this is our chessboard pattern. This is a 9x6 one. If you want to use a pattern of different size, you could go ahead and modify the code to support it. But here you could go ahead and do what I did and put the image on your phone or go ahead and print it out. So here you can see in my folder, I have my calibration images and notice that the name doesn't matter. But here you can see that I try to take my images at different angles, covering different parts of the camera to get best results. Now to run the program, what I'm using is Python 3.11.0 and I have pip installed numpy, opencv python, and matplotlib. Now let's go ahead and run our program up here. I'm gonna come up here and run our Python file and what this will do is go through all my calibration images. You can see it's drawing the actual predicted corners. And then later on, you can see we have a plot of all of the chessboard images that we've gathered. So you could take a look at how it performs. And then finally, we're gonna get an output of all of our parameters here on the bottom, printed out, as well as inside our JSON file. So if we go to the side here, you can see in our folder, you can see that there's a calibration.json, and you can see that this is our reprojection error, our camera matrix, and our distortion coefficients, as well as the uh, rvex and tvex. So depending on your reprojection error and the type of accuracy you want to obtain, you might want to consider trying the following things. So try to take more chessboard images if you don't have enough. Try to vary the chessboard orientation and position more so that you could gather more of the corners and extreme cases. You want to try to make sure the entire chessboard is in your images. So if there's anything cut off, go ahead and replace those images. And finally, if there's any blurry images, go ahead and remove those. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.